Quant Network brands itself as the first operating system built for blockchain technology, with the Overledger operating system making it possible to integrate multiple blockchains in an all-encompassing and coherent manner. More specifically, blockchains will be connected to real-world healthcare services, financial services, and so on, with Overledger allowing developers to build so-called multi-chain applications. And to pay for the annual Overledger license and various fees, the Quant token, or QNT, is used. The experience of Quant Network founder Gilbert Verdian in the healthcare sector represented perhaps the main driving force in this equation. Imagine a large number of patients insured by different companies included in different databases and so on. Needless to say, interoperability is not exactly optional. And on a similar note, interoperability is facilitated in a Quant Network world through a layered approach that has been inspired by TCP IP models the internet itself was built on with Overledger having a number one transaction layer, or as the name suggests, the layer responsible for adding, storing, and queuing transactions. Number two, the messaging layer, or the layer responsible for crucial information, such as smart contract data or metadata. Number three, the filtering and ordering layer also has a name that speaks for itself, with messages referenced for one multi-chain application or another filtered, ordered, and checked for validity in terms of meeting requirements. Think of it as each multi-chain application kind of having a virtual blockchain. And number four, the application layer or the layer responsible for allowing validated messages to generate changes for one application or another. Here, multi-chain applications are essentially isolated from one another. Finally, to end with a simple question and straightforward conclusions, what can Quant Network help with? Well, broadly speaking, anything that requires or would be aided by interoperability, from bringing a wide range of real-world assets to the digital realm via tokenization to helping commercial banks with potential stablecoin projects, or hey, why not even facilitating the access of the general public to central bank digital currencies?